no! Hey, uh, didn't see you there. Hi, welcome. I'm Kita, this is Eustace, and I've been neglecting Shady Shoals. Hello, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm doing a retirement island called Shady Shoals. Yes, that's from SpongeBob. And I made Eustace basically the mayor of the island, and he's from Courage the Cowardly Dog. So I just wanted to show you this is my map as of current, and I laid out the the hmm um the little suburb, the living area that you would uh, basically find in a retirement home, an independent retirement home. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that today, so come along with me. This video is chaos. I hope you enjoy. So if you've been with me for quite some time, you've known that I started this, um, this part of the suburb. I don't know why it's so hard for me to think of the name <laughs> of this little community, but here we are. Um, I started this a while ago and I was using Colin's kind of like gravel path. And you know what? It just didn't do it for me. As much as I wanted to avoid any kind of like brick or stone, just because, you know, I think about these things and just elderly people and, and, and crevices on walkways just didn't sit right with me. So <laughs> I avoided them. But uh, I caved and I grabbed Colin's like rustic brick path and I you know what I'm not disappointed I really like the way it looks on this island in particular because I'm going with a lot of orange colors red um browns it it just fit so perfectly so here we are um I don't really have a method to my madness that I'm I'm bringing on right now I just want every kind of nook and cranny filled with something kind of fun to look at, something to take into consideration. If you were to be touring, <laughs> not touring, what the heck? If you were to be at some kind of senior citizen living environment, what, what is wrong with me? If you, <laughs> if you were to be just visiting your grandma, at her retirement community area. I just, I wanted there to be some personality behind some of the spots that, uh, that were surrounding the homes. <laughs> so, um, the Nordic furniture came in clutch. Look at how good that, that sofa looks though, honestly. And, um, so yeah, just placing bits and bobs here and there, just kind of going with the flow. And it was kind of fun. I laid out all the pathing and just kind of kept it real simple and made it to where it was like a gated community, if you will. So I put fencing all the way around the houses, just kind of like blocked it off um, to give it more of a cozy feeling and placed a bunch of trees everywhere and some bushes and just kept it real antique. So uh, you got the real vibe that everything was from the 70s even so and i love that a lot of the furniture that 2.0 came out with has a lot to offer for some vintage feel and 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 styles it's just it it hit some notes with me i was really happy um so yeah i didn't i didn't really place furniture based on who was living where because I do have villagers that are going to be leaving so I just kind of stuck stuff where I wanted them to be and what felt right no no rhyme or reason to any of it
and this spot in particular, I just, I envisioned the villagers coming here to feed the birds, kind of like going in style, if you've ever seen that movie. It's uh, three elderly men who, who reach the ending years of their lives and all look at each other and kind of go, hey, let's do something fun. Let's go rob a bank. Random, I know, but it's a great movie, but they, they all kind of are feeding birds in the beginning of the movie. And that's kind of what I envisioned for this spot. And then as time went on, I was like, well, let me make it a little bit festive. Let me put some trees and, and some presents and all that good stuff. And it just ultimately didn't end up working out. So enjoy this mock-up of a Christmassy little section of the, of the village that I end up taking down later. And, um, and I just end up moving it to a different spot ultimately. And it looks cute where it is. So yeah. And as the day went on, I had lost inspiration. So I came back <laughs> and made this spot the little Christmassy festive spot which I ended up loving. You, it's just this pop of brightness and color within the houses. And I'm, I'm not upset. I, I think it's cute. And it's just a nice little reminder that Christmas is around the corner. So <laughs> yeah, I told you this video is absolute chaos. I'm sorry. And then Dina decided to move, so I went on a miniature villager hunt that was not fruitful whatsoever. I'm actually still actively looking for another replacement villager, but here's a few of the cute ones I found along the way. I considered Gladys. I really considered Gladys. The name? Come on. It was, it, it would have worked so well. But, uh, yeah, it... I spent at least three hours looking for a villager. I got a lot of penguins, so I was hopeful for Boomer, but I didn't find him. Oh, it was exhausting. <laughs> and by the end of it, I had spent 70 tickets and I called it a day. I then did eventually get some more inspiration for the rest of the, the, what am I going to call this? I, oh, boy, they, let's call it a gated community. Let's call it that. I, I got some more inspiration and placed some more things around the area just to give it a little bit more of a fullness to it, I guess. And a little bit more personality. Those milk cans, oh my gosh, they are, they came in clutch with the amount of like spaces that it could fill and just give a little bit of life to. So I really enjoyed <laughs> placing those milk cans.
Also found a great use for my my uh, my goose <laughs> my goose custom pattern. I found it and was absolutely in love with it, and I placed it on the vintage TV tray, and I was in love. It's so cute. I just it, the pattern never looked good on a cushion or a Zen cushion, so I just kind of did away with it. But I did I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. And then I put it on the tray and it was like, this gave me life. This is okay. And if you can't tell where the Christmas spot used to be, I just put the nuptial bell there for now. <sighs> I may put a fountain there. It's possible. This whole island just feels like a constant work in progress. But getting the rest of this village done gave me... A lot of wiggle room. There's there's quite a few other spots that I'm gonna touch up and, and fix, but that that'll come later. But I can finally move on from the gated community and and do some fun things, fun little spots that I have planned. So I'm super excited for those. But for now, enjoy the rest of the build. I'll stop talking. It's a long video. I'm sorry. Bye. And there you have it guys. Thank you so much for sticking around if you did so and uh, I look forward to finishing hopefully this island uh, by the end of December. Don't hold me to that but I would like to try and uh, yeah I hope you guys have a good Tuesday. Thanks for stopping in. Um, sorry there's not really been a lot of streams lately. It's been a little hectic in my household but uh, yeah. I hope you're doing well, and I guess I will catch you guys on the flip side. All right. Bye-bye.